Hi, this is Saeed. Today I'd like to talk about mediation analysis or what can be called causal mediation analysis. In this introductory presentation, I will touch on the definition of mediation and mediation analysis, the reason behind doing mediation analysis, why we do mediation analysis and steps uh, of how doing mediation or how co how to conduct mediation analysis with a real example and finally some notes related to uh, mediation analysis here in this video uh, we we uh, used y x and m y donated to outcome variable and the x uh, is donated to exposure or independent variable and M uh, is uh, to denote it to uh, mediator variable first of all let us define mediation basically a mediator is the means by which exposure variable affects outcome one so the effect of exposure on outcome is mediated through the third variable which is mediator mediation analysis therefore is a, is a way of soliciting or dissecting the effect of variable on another one uh, the goal of mediation so uh, the mediation analysis is used by researchers uh, in order to fully and accurately understand phenomena on hand and uh, to get better estimation of causal relationship between outcome variable and exposure variable and this is especially uh, in observational studies and uh, even holds for experimental one so it helps understanding the phenomena establishing causal effect and calculate the effect of variables on each other and uh, this uh, because of that uh, uh, the, the mediation analysis was uh, used extensively by social and psychological scientists based on Barron's and Kelly's 1982 approach uh, you ha we have to establish um, uh, four uh, regressions or four uh, association between these variables uh, in order to say that there is uh, a mediation uh, through mediator variables on, on the relationship between exposure and outcomes variable. So uh, if we go to first step um, is to uh, establish association between the exposure variable and outcome by regressing outcome on exposure second step is to establish or to ensure that there is a relationship between exposure and mediator there should be a statistically significance uh, on their relationship third regression is to uh, to establish a, a correlation between uh, outcome and a mediator after that uh, or the final step fourth step in regressions we regress outcome variable on both exposure and mediator and this uh, full model we can see uh, and compare this regression with the first one and see if there is real mediation or no with this uh, folly model we can calculate the direct effect of exposure on outcome which uh, clear here in, 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 in C path and we can also calculate the indirect effect of exposure on outcome through mediator uh, by uh, multiplying the A bath with the B bath uh, 
regression results. And if we want to come up with the total effect, we multiply uh, uh, A by B plus C, uh, and we can get the full uh, effect. Um, here we can see the arithmetic equations to calculate the regression of each pathway. Uh, this one is the first uh, regression. Uh, where we use the we, where we uh, regress outcome on exposure. This equation is a regression of um, mediator on exposure. This one regressing uh, uh, outcome on mediator. And this is the fourth regression where we regress outcome on both exposure and mediator. Uh, Let's have a, a real example to make mediation analysis a little bit easier or practical. Uh, here is a real example for depression study where, uh, pharma, where uh, pharmacological treatment is the exposure uh, while behavioral therapy is uh, the mediator and success of depression treatment is the outcome. Here is the data. As we can see, all values must be in discrete type of data or uh, what can be called zeros and ones. Again, um, we are using um, Barron's and Kinney's uh, approach or method. This is uh, first step. Uh, so this is uh, our software, the statistical software R. And we uh, use the command to uh, regress uh, the first uh, step, which is outcome on exposure. As we can see, uh, it has uh, 0.0, 0.0113. .0 so it's it is statistically significant so there is a relationship between outcome and exposure they are related to the next uh, therapy on medication so mediator on exposure we regress uh, uh, or try to establish a relationship between mediator and exposure and we put this uh, formula and we found it is statistically significant with p value 0.02989 so uh, it's also established the second step go to uh, the third step while we should establish a correlation between outcome and uh, mediator or uh, in this uh, example uh, success of treatment of depression on uh, behavioral therapy so we go uh, and put the, the equation and uh, we found that there is no statistically significant relationship between the success of depression treatment and uh, 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 the mediator which is cognitive thera therapy or uh, behavioral therapy and it came uh, the b value 0.1 So it is uh, st uh, not statistically significant. Uh, so uh, we didn't establish the correlation between the outcome and uh, the mediator, as we can see. So there is no association between them. Uh, so we can uh, conclude that cognitive behavioral therapy does not mediate the medication and depression relationship. And this is clear that there is no mediation on, 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 this, uh, on this example. A uh, couple notes uh, about uh, mediation analysis. Uh, uh, so uh, the, 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 the time sequence, understanding uh, and nailing down the time sequence is important in mediation analysis uh, in order to prove causal relationship. Uh, the second point on mediation analysis is that uh, uh, usually, or as the example showed here, uh, 
we used only one variable to mediate a relationship between two variables. However, in real life, we seldom find such interaction. Therefore, uh, a multiple variable approach have been studied uh, since then to uh, try to, uh, to, to match the real world. Take home message, uh, because social sciences are based on observational data type, uh, mediation analysis was helpful and used by social scientists more than uh, others. Uh, also, uh, again, to establish a causality in mediation analysis, we need to ensure uh, that uh, time sequence of exposure and outcome is, 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 uh, is well known and established. Uh, here is uh, our codes that uh, I used for uh, reading the file, doing the four regressions, and finding uh, the results. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, be happy. Thank you.